Scoop folds his arms across his chest, takes a deep breath, and stares at the ground as if he's trying to find words. You could get Scoop talking for hours about literally anything, but when I bring up my parents, my mom especially, his childhood friend, he locks up, freezes, can't get the words out or doesn't want to. Sometimes I wonder if he remembers her at all, if he ever thinks of her. Maybe when the store goes under, he'll pretend it never existed too. I turn my attention back to the register, pick up a nearby rag, get through the vision of me dragging it across the counter, and then drag it across the counter. I shut my eyes and pray to whatever name the greatest force in the universe goes by that I can make it through this shift without having to touch anything else, and that, miraculously, no customers will come in for the next two and a half hours. And then the front door opens again. Hi, welcome to Scoops, I say, focusing all my attention on making my voice sound less exhausted than I feel. I drop the rag and look up at the front door. A girl slightly shorter than me steps into the shop in all black, ripped jeans pulled up to waist height, a crop top that leaves about half an inch of midriff right in the front when she turns to close the door behind her, and combat boots. She grins up at me with a knowing smile framed by bubblegum pink lips. All of her hair is tucked up into her hat, but I'd recognize those big brown eyes anywhere. Relief washes over me like rain across the wildfire of stress I've been battling all morning. Hey, Tal. I smile, genuinely, for the first time today. <laughs>